Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm. Today we are working on our next little block here for our spring Christmas tree planting. And I showed in previous videos where we laid out these rows and then I used the subsoiler on the tractor to tear up the clay soil. So all my rows are laid out and they're pretty much ready to go. But I was worried that, and I know that, what I've done so far is not perfectly square. And I wanna make sure that we're using the space in our field efficiently. So what I wanna do now is basically make sure that the ends of our rows are all in line with each other. So where we start and stop planting our trees are all in alignment. So we're going to do that by making sure that the, the row ends are 90 degrees to our first row. And in order to do that at this scale, there's probably a better way than this. But I know from woodworking the 345 rule. Think back to your high school geometry class that's based on the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But really all you need to know is three, four, five, and that number can scale to whatever you want. Uh, so this is how it works, three, four, five. If you have three on one side, four on the other, and five connecting the ends of those two points, then that will guarantee that you have a right angle here where those corners meet. So that's how that works. And we're gonna scale this way up. We're gonna take it um, to not three feet, not 30 feet, but we're gonna do uh, four times that. We're gonna do 120 feet down one side, 160 feet down the other, and then I forget what it's supposed to be down, down the other way, 200 feet down the other way, uh, down the, the it's connecting the ends of those two lines. And uh, we have a 300 foot tape measure here. We're gonna do that on two of these corners. And once we do that, we're gonna set some layout lines down the ends of our rows and stake that off so that we know where all of our rows are going to start and stop. So if you got any questions about what we're doing out here, leave those in the comments below. I answer as many comments as I can. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Here we go, let's get to work. Well, this is my corner marker. This is the end of the first row here. So this is gonna be the point at which we wanna make sure we have 90 degrees to this row, which is a nearly perfectly straight line. And we wanna make sure we go perfect 90 degrees off of that down this way. I can already tell by looking at this that our the ends of our rows are not at all in alignment here. And that's what I wanna make sure of when, we, when it comes planting time, that our first trees that we set on these rows are in alignment 90 degrees to this first row. Whatever you wanna do. Pull it tight and get it on the middle of the row. Now you need a stick. There's gonna be one on the ground behind you at the end of this row. Go grab it and put it where your marker is. We're good, we're gonna take this one down to 160 feet. Pull it tight again. As in, pull it tight. Tight. Like we should be pulling against each other. Pull it tight. Okay, stick it in the ground. Okay, so Hudson is setting his stake way down there, 160 feet in that direction. We already have a stake set 120 feet in that direction. It should be 200 feet in between those two. And uh, then we'll know we've got it square. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point it's not square. And what we'll end up doing is moving that stick either left or right in order to get uh, 200 feet on the hypotenuse of the triangle. So Stacy's gonna stay on this end. I'm gonna run down to the other end and adjust that post so that the hypotenuse is shorter on our triangle. All right, so that measured out to 200. So just to double check now, we're gonna, with our new corner marked on the far side, we're gonna double check the measurement down this one side here. That was supposed to be 160. So we're going to see now from our new post set up there to our corner spot, if that's 160, everything's right where we want it to be. Okay, so we've got a little bit of extra here. So we're going to move that corner post again. Uh, we're going to move it just about uh, a foot or so that way. You hold that tight, I'll pull this tight the other end. And then we'll double check the 200. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll be good. Okay, so we got the other corner all square, and now we're down on the right corner. So this is the same first row that we just measured off of, and we wanna make sure we get 90 degrees off this. So the ends of all of our rows on this side are in line with each other. Okay, so just to show you how far off we were when we were just eyeballing the layout of these rows with the tractor, I'm gonna run a string line from this corner to the far post that we just put in, and you'll see how the ends of these rows are just all over the place. Um, so it'd be nice to have the string line here so we know that's exactly where our first tree should go on each of these rows. So you can kind of see, I know we're looking into the sun, but you can see some of the rows that we had subsoiled were all the way over here. That's like an extra 10 feet longer than we really needed to. So in order to have this whole block of trees square the way that we want it to be, this string now represents the starting point for each row of our trees. All right, so we've got the lines down. Now we know that this plot is square and we know where each of our rows are going to start and stop. Uh, I didn't film it, but I also have a string on the other side of these rows. So this is all ready to go. The next thing we'll be doing out here is tilling these rows before we plant, but we're gonna wait a few weeks before we do that. We'll do that just before we plant. So between now and mid-March, not a whole lot going on. When the trees come in mid-March, We'll update you on planting. So anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, thanks for watching everybody. If you got any questions or comments, leave those below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe as well if you haven't already. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.